Brown Town. Dogs of Brown Town. Dogs of Brown Town. Dogs of Brown Town. Brown Town. Panch Chahar Se Do. Welcome to Dogs of Brown Town. God damn. I you love hear that? that. Ooh, that yeah. was good. Delicious. Uh, getting count brought in with a countdown of a language I'm terrified of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I was like, I love a it. I it's a beautiful language, beautiful people. No, way. I'm, I'm Habibi Falafel. Habibi Falafel. That's Habibi Falafel, and as soon as he gets done, a scarab comes out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He doesn't need to go to the beach to have sand between his butt cheeks. Hey! Joel Jimenez, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's start this show. Welcome to Dogs of Brown Town. I'm Saul Trujillo. Uh, to my right, you got the scarab himself. Mm-hmm. Right, say it into the thing. Hormuz Rashidi, Khalim Amnun Mercy. Yes, thank you. Is that real? Yeah. Have I asked you that before? Yeah, Hormuz Rashidi. That's my name. Yes. Khalim Amnun means I'm, I'm very grateful. Okay. Thank you. And mer- mercy, mercy. Thank you. Gotcha. The dude from That's the hood is like, Are you Hormuz Rashidi? Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good name. <laughs> Hormuz Rashidi, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Full name. That's like your every joke. Yeah, every joke. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Are we allowed to appropriate Lord have mercy like that? Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 It's not a Lord appropriate. have mercy. If you just no, want no, no. the Lord to have mercy, you, nobody yeah. wants mercy. How are you spelling it? Is it L O R D or L A W D? Lord L O H D. No, I'm spelling no. it like the the female pop star Lord. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, I think that's yeah. fine. Yeah, okay. You can do it. He's the British. way we said it, very, you can. Wait, is no, she no, no, British? No. You Never get in trouble. <laughs> is yeah. Lord British? Maybe. Uh, next to him is the beautiful Joe Jimenez. That's right. Oh, guys, I'm in a good mood today. What? I went to Disneyland yesterday. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. I, I had sex this morning. Boy, does oh. my asshole hurt. Oh. All right. Hey. All right, Splash Mountain <laughs> got ridden one more time, huh? Yeah, hell uh, yeah. But uh, Joe, yeah, fucking Disneyland yesterday. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, do you follow that channel, uh, Disney Foes? No, uh, probably. Yeah, yeah. It's like Foos Gone Latinos Wild. going to Disneyland. Disneyland. Oh, I will like, say this: I've loved Disneyland my whole life. It's it it like still smells and feels the same way you did when you're a kid. But yesterday was the first time I felt my age there. Like I felt I was fucking tired yeah like by three, it's a lot of walking by three o'clock i was fucking like had to dig deep yeah you're like this, and this how, how long did you guys stay we stayed till um i had a i wanted to make out under the fireworks so we stayed till about 9 45 what time did oh you guys get wow there? so you had another six you're tired for six and a half yeah hours. but we got coffee we like we sat for a while had water we got there at about 11 o'clock Oh yeah, eleven to. Whose idea was that? Yeah, it's Mine. really early. Oh, you well, go, you go so my hurt. friends, my friends worked there and were oh, a, okay. were that's a that's thing. thing. So I had to meet them there when they were getting there. Oh, so so you can get like a discount situation, something like that. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, allegedly. Allegedly, <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's. I think they're even allowed to do that. I'm, well, we'll find no, out. We'll we'll look into that. He's still ain't trying to, nope. you know, potentially. Stuff. Yeah, we just did a snitching episode. You think I'm gonna? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna knock these. Pe- you but I don't know what I'd be out? snitching on because nothing happened. Nothing I don't happened. see nothing. I, I don't know nothing. You paid full <laughs> amount of money. Yeah, yeah. I paid uh, double just to be. What was nice. your favorite ride? Oh man, um, Rise of the Resistance is the best ride there. The new, yeah. Star Have you been Wars on it? Thing? No, I haven't been oh. since they've had all the new stuff. Dude, I don't want to spoil it, but there is a moment where, uh, ba- okay, you're 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 in this Airbus to go join the Resistance, but you're captured in a tractor beam by a fucking by a Star Destroyer, like the bad guys, and you see yourself getting pulled into the ship. And then they open it up and they're like, you, you're now prisoners of the, of the whatever, oh, of the whatever. And then they open the fucking thing and you're on the ship. There's a huge window that you can see out into space. And they got stormtroopers and shit like with guns and stuff. I heard they got like off duty cops and firefighters as the stormtroopers. And um, it's just sick as fuck. They put you in a cell. And then they break you out, and that you're escaping is the ride. I'd only want to wow. do that if I'm on, if it's just me, and then a bunch of severely autistic people, because I want to see their reaction. <laughs> well, also they have all the facts too. They'll yeah, yeah, be like, yeah. "That's actually yeah. a clone trooper from." Uh... I want to hear the facts, and then him going. Mm. By the way, is you this can't an say escape room. Is uh, that like an escape room? No, because it's all. But no, because they put you on a on a on a ride like after, and that the ride is the escape. But it's also a trackless ride, so like all the. Everything you're on, they're all pre-programmed and they just like, if you look at the floor, it's smooth. It has like, you can see the tire marks, but it's like, um, 
it's all programmed. So all the motions are really cool, man. That's tight. You, you go into a room with those at ats, those big like elephant looking um, robot things, and mm -hmm. it's fucking sick, man. It's tight. It's a great ride. <laughs> My favorite ride. Your favorite ride. That's yeah. fantastic. Why couldn't I, are you stop? You see, you can't say severely what. Oh, you can't say severely autistic. Yeah, you can. Well, you can say it. You can say it, but <laughs> I can say don't say that. Oh! But I wouldn't. Not me. I'm Me as another person would say severe. Yeah, very. Severe is actually Hormoz's brother's How name. How about instead you severe say Rashidi. heavily vaccinated? Ooh. Perfect. I like that. That's a good one. No, you that can say That heavily vaccinated guy <laughs> loves to draw apples. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's better? Is that the yeah, 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 more? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. that's nice. Drawing <laughs> apples? What, what's wrong with that guy? He's heavily vaccinated. <laughs> yeah, that guy's very vaccinated. <laughs> Hell yeah. He has to live at home with his parents vaccinated. <laughs> that sounds oh. nice. Where do I get? Oh, actually, I guess I'm severely vaccinated. <laughs> 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 Fuck! Uh, well, today's, I, I wanted to bring it up. Today was uh, at least a big deal to me growing up as a brown kid. Uh, I wasn't sure. How was clothing, like going shopping oh, for clothes uh -huh. as a kid? Yeah. It was completely different for me as a, well, first of all, as a fat kid, mm. but also as a fat brown kid, like the locations as to where we got our clothes. Yeah. It always felt different from the other kids for me specifically. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, like the flea markets and shit like that. Yeah. That's blanket what I stores. Blanket <laughs> stores. My mom would go to Home He's, Depot and get a tarp. <laughs> <laughs> He's like looking in the obituary like yeah, for yeah, fat yeah. people who died. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. like, like it, a estate sale. At the cemetery <laughs> looking for a wider plot. <laughs> <laughs> dig them up. Sorry. Uh, no, it's fine. They're like, they're like, no, you look really you good this. today when you got here. I'm not doing this because I just said that. When you got out of the car, I was like, oh, I wanted to say you look really good today, Saul. You no, do. Saul, Saul's you, can, eating, you can start to like right. see it. He's losing that weight. Yeah. He's fucking doing great. So today was the first day like I, I like noticed. It. I was like, oh fuck, you look because you're in like huh. thin like clothing. It's hot out. You, you haven't been dipping it. like chips in nacho cheese for a while. It's like I, no, it's you, broccoli and nacho no, cheese. No, no, it's just <laughs> half the chip now. Oh, okay. cool. I like it's that. Like, yeah. I break the chip in half. It's called moderation. More, more nacho cheese. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I was talking about those hormones earlier. Uh, I mean, having a nice fit at school like yeah getting in a getting bullied mm -hmm. because yeah. of like maybe you're the poor kid who came with like thrift store clothes yeah like i thankfully i, I went to a private school where most of like we had to wear a uniform that was pretty affordable mm -hmm. but and that's like, why they a lot of places do uniforms for now. sure yeah because it like evens that thing out yeah, yeah. like it, because you could just go to like a family dollar and then like school uniforms yeah and they're like the uniforms, three bucks for a shirt. Yeah. But I don't know. Did you have anything? Like, did you have? Cause I feel like you've been well fit your whole life as in being a skateboarder. Maybe, but I, but I did go to Catholic school my whole life, so it was always uniforms for me. For us, it was like shoes were like a thing, you know. That was where you could distinguish. That's yourself. where you could do that. And I remember, um, I have a couple stories. So I I I remember the movie because I loved Shaq when I was. He was like my favorite person oh, in the whole world, dude, right? Dude, yeah. Dude, and the uh, Diesel. Yeah, and um, I wanted Shaq like shoes, like he had his his like pro model shoes or whatever, but they were too expensive. Well, the movie Kazam had just come out, and Great I movie. went to Payless because he had shoes at Payless, like Kazam. Yeah, Hormos wanted the shoes from the movie Kazam. He wanted the fucking when he was. <laughs> those were Hormos. Like, I wanted those no, to play basketball. That, no, the shoes from Kazam are different than Kazam's shoes. <laughs> Kazam's shoes had sitar in the when you open the box, dude. Uh, uh, but uh oh i gotta never mind i can't say that yeah you can no you cannot say i'll say it, it. Out it. Hormos, tell him okay you okay if you, if you put the the r word with the word sitar you get sit oh god anyway um you can't say that word. yes oh you can't say that one guitarded no sitar sitarded Satarded. Why would you say that, you say man? That? That's fucked up. That's Saul. fucked up. So wow. Anyway, so Shaq had these. They had a Kazam shoes at at Payless, but from the top they look the pointy like, ends, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not Kazam's shoes. Oh, okay. Shoes no, yeah, 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 yeah. By by the the movie Kazam, but from the top, the top of the shoe looked like the real Shaq shoes, but the bottom sole said Kazam. Ooh. Yeah, which, which is cool now. But so I, I wear these to school. I'm whatever. I'm sitting at my desk. You know, you sit with your foot like kind of up. And this, yeah, this girl. You got, brand, you got brand new Wait. shoe stamps? In the, in, no, you're doing but here's the thing. Wait. Oh, brand new shoe so stamps. I was like so trying nice. not to show off the bottom because then people would know they were not real shacks. 
But so I'm they sitting. They were real shacks, but they were shack kazam. They were from Payless. Yeah, they were the Payless yeah. shack. So I'm sitting with my shoe, like pointing out, and this girl goes. Those aren't shacks. Those are Kazams. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, fuck. <laughs> and it was just, it's a moment that I will always That's remember. That's why pay less ain't true. You pay less in money. But you pay more in <laughs> mental health. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How much money have you given therapists for that? Kazam? Fuck, man. <laughs> and we know a little kid, like you see the little kid with like the Iron Man shoes, like yeah. too colorful of a shoe. Yeah. I was like, you got those shits at Payless. Yeah, for sure. I know those are uncomfortable. But I fucking, <laughs> Payless was sick. Later on when I was working at Target, I was always buying Payless shoes. I didn't care. Shout out no, Payless, one yeah. of our biggest sponsors, Payless Shoes. Yeah. Use code Dogs of Brown Town. They do make your feet Payless smell like popcorn, but oh, dude, <laughs> wait, 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 what? Payless shoes, popcorn feet, smell yeah. like DMT. Really? Have you ever guys ever done DMT? No, I haven't. No, it's it's really fun. I highly recommend it. Um, so Payless shoes are made out of. We should smoke Payless <laughs> shoes. We should smoke Payless you, shoes. You fucking trip out for five whole minutes. Hell you yeah. I don't think shoe Payless leather? shoes even exist anymore. No, Payless live I think more. They closed, no, right? they, they all close. Yeah, but DMT. Lives on Current still, Which is yeah, actually yeah, made yeah, out of All those Payless shoes yeah, that's what That never did. got sold <laughs> Oh it's interesting DMT kind of had a, a rise After Payless closed mm. down That's interesting mm, Alright <laughs> <laughs> But that is the best way To describe The smell of DMT I think Yeah wow. When you smoke it th That bowl it, the smell it smells like new Payless shoes. Damn, I want to do it just for that. Oh, were, it's, it's really fun. Ten minutes. But all I see is Kazam. I have... <laughs> no! All those kids who wore like uh, Champion and Starter, all the shit that was like poor kid shit in the yeah. past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were ahead Pro of our club. curve, dude. Yeah. Yeah. We were ahead of, come on, well, dude, man. That's we like lobster, poverty food is all like high class food now, right? Yeah. Like it's fucking... Yeah, man, I, there were some kids that really, like, styled their uniforms really well, and it was, like, pretty cool, man. I, but also, then I got into the punk thing, and it was, like, then thrift store shit was cool. My my mom's been taking me to thrift store since we were kids, like, always. Because she would take me there. They would have, like, toys in bags for, like, $5. And she tells this story of, like, take, we used to go to this one, uh, American Way in Burbank. Uh, they're still there, but they moved. And uh, we'd go in, and she goes, I go, what, what? She goes, you can pick anything you want. And I was like anything <laughs> and it was like so sick because i would get like a bag of fucking toys and i remember getting a ty an old typewriter and like all this cool shit from thrift stores and then that same girl cool. who made fun of my kazams one time i saw her at a thrift store and back at school she's like i saw joel at the thrift store like trying to make fun of me and i was like bitch you were there too <laughs> <laughs> i was there to look for nerds thrift yeah. stores were cool when, when i was a kid yeah i remember we would talk in my middle school about yeah. like the shit we found at, at the thrift store or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's like people weren't, it was like a rich area, your Belinda, but people still liked finding cool old shit. What yeah. bothers was, me about thrift in. stores is now they no longer are a necessity to find used uh, possessions. It's now these Goodwills charge. Almost yeah. what a regular store would. Well, I noticed when they started because it's hipster because they're they're going to the demographic of people that find like like oh I, I want to find this antique or I want to find yeah. this instead of like it just being the organic thing like I don't want this toaster anymore or I don't want this this uh, mat anymore now it's like oh this potentially could be worth something yeah so we're but if you know the day to go you go you, you you go on the day that they have the sale for that colored thing so it's like if you're trying to buy Whoa. like if you're trying to buy shirts. They'll have like all the shirts will be tagged with like a green tag yeah. on it. And it'll be yeah. green tag sale where everything's half price. So you'll go yeah. on that day to get shirts and stuff. Sure. Yeah. I remember and when that when it switched, when it started going from just that, going to get a shirt, everything was whatever. It's like two bucks. A buck and then they started curating shirt. shit, like putting all the like sports teams things here and then this and it, then it Which started love. going up man why do you love that because a thrift store curated. should be fucking it should be gambling yeah and it, it should, should just be, be chaos computer fucking <laughs> yeah. chaos yeah yeah it's that sebastian maniscalco joke when he talks about ross <laughs> yeah just like pulling yeah. shit up that's how it legitimate that? should be <laughs> that's how a thrift store because that's what keeps the prices down is the lack of give a fuck right the the then you guys would love there's a place called jet rag in hollywood oh, yeah i know jet rag you gone yeah I I they not. do a thing i think it's on saturday yeah sunday morning like a dollar Piles a stuff. huge pile. Everything's a dollar, and you, yeah. just, you just have to dig through this huge pile of shit. But like, in my high school, all the cool like girls would go to jet. They'd go to Jet Rag together on Sunday, get all this cool like yeah. jackets, and then yeah. you know they'd buy fucking for nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kim got like a Lakers jacket for a dollar. Fuck, that's like tight. A, like a nylon leather, not leather, nylon yeah, Lakers yeah. jacket. Yeah, so you can I mean, get some goodies. 
a hundred percent. And but like, I just feel now it just. Hey, I, I go to like Goodwills here in like East Hollywood. I guess it depends on the Goodwills. Yeah. I guess it depends on the thrift store too. Yeah. You go more mom and pop. Yeah. East LA thrift stores. Then it'll start to. American get Way is still good in Burbank. Um, that's my that's my favorite one because they're they're still kind of like that. Salvation Army's prices have gone up. Yeah. Well, they're at war. <laughs> they're always at you war. You gotta fund the war. Yeah, <laughs> nothing will save them, dude. They have no salvation. <laughs> God salvation damn it. Army and Old Navy. <laughs> Old Navy's Clip winning that, by a lot. motherfuckers. <laughs> That's good shit right there. That's how you get past here, you fucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that moved me. <laughs> that moved you? Yeah. Uh. I'm trying to think of another fucking some sort of thing that's like. But trying that. to find cheap clothes as a little portly fat. Latino was very difficult. At yeah, because they don't thrift stores don't carry the bigger sizes for the kids. So I would have to shop at forcefully. I'd have to get all my clothes on Christmas, and my mother would, for whatever reason, thought that I'd like the brand Big Dog. Yeah, it, and if you don't know the brand Big Dog, that's for retired cops and uh, fourteen-year-olds <laughs> who have high blood pressure. Yeah, and, and fucking like white dudes named Steve who have a pontoon who like yeah, to drink yeah, Bud yeah. Light. Well, used to like to drink Bud yeah. Light. So I'd have to go to school. With like a, a a shirt that had like a, a, a dog with a motorcycle on it. But I remember big dogs being kind of cool. Like in my neighborhood, like big dog shit was cool. Yeah, it was it was for like the retired old man where I was from. Yeah, yeah, retired old conservative. Top dog was cool when I was a kid. Oh, maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, Top I dog think is that the would one be with the, the one. scary dogs. It's, yeah. it's definitely not the plus size dog <laughs> shirt that is cool. <laughs> it's definitely not that. Damn, I'll dude. tell you that. Much. Haynes beefy tees. <laughs> <laughs> an orange an orange Hanes beefy tea and I was like and I was fat so like fat and short so it was more stout than anything so everything was too long yeah so I walk around with just like a, a shirt that was too big for me man were you a shorts guy your whole life cause yeah, I, yeah, I always yeah. remember the bigger dudes always in you have shorts. to be the legs yeah. are hot yeah <laughs> muy caliente man the- fuck dude yeah I'm trying to think what I I mean yeah I think I always kind of had like like uh cool shit i mean my parents would kind of let me dress myself once i was like in like the fourth grade or something it started to like have my own style see that started early like i had no intention of style in the fourth grade yeah at all i yeah. just thought of, you put clothes on because you need to you yeah. know like you i had older cousins who like skateboarded and were okay, like so you so had i was like influence. oh i want that I yeah like that. that's cool yeah. right I had a my dad just wore clothes. Yeah, he was just like yeah. a paisa. He didn't give yeah. a fuck. Yeah, yeah. He would wear like a like a best grandfather shirt because he bought it at the fucking thrift yeah. store. He has no idea what it says Hilarious. on it. Hilarious. It'd be shit like that. So like when you grow up with that as your influence, you're like, <laughs> yeah, clothes ain't shit. You just yeah. need to put clothes on to live. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had like my brother had dope ass like concert t shirts from like Iron Maiden and Motley Crue and Guns N' Roses and Metallica. He had yeah. like. A re like he sold it for a lot of money like yeah. eventually but you like, know I, he had cool ass shit i've been thinking i think a lot about like fashion and whatever and like there's all this high price stuff and blah 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 but i think that like fashion at its best should make the person feel good when they're wearing it and should be some sort of like rep- whatever it is even if it's like a shirt you found on the ground mm-hmm. but it but it like matches like how you feel inside i think that's to me, that is like what it what it should be. Like it doesn't matter what it costs, but it should make the person feel good. Gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, like my style. I wear I'm all black, and it's like <laughs> I'm just kidding. When you're all black, Sorry. you wear all black, and you. Why are you? Why is he gay? I was just kidding. I don't know. I just because I'm talking about fashion. Fashion. Yeah. fashion. <laughs> what, I, well, fashion should make you feel like I'm just kidding. No, 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 no you're not. You mean it with your whole heart. <laughs> yeah, I'm gay. So what? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gay for fashion is what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, you're always dressed I'm, in. No, yeah, I, 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 I mean, I'm not very fashionable right now, but that's a pretty cool shirt. Actually, it is a cool shirt. It's a cool shirt. Pretty cool Iron Man wearing... shirt. Are those Old Navy or <laughs> Salvation these are, these Army? Are from Ross. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, Jeff Ross. Those are <laughs> you're wearing conservative dad pants, or conservative dad shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but they have yeah. zip up pockets. Yeah, these colors don't run, and neither does Hormos. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid hormones. You're not still even the, got it, bitch. <laughs> you're not even the fattest one on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Well, you'll run for for uh, the ah, stupid idiot. You had it. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. Say it. You. That's uh, the moment's passed. Uh, wow. I'm from Iran, right? Mm-hmm. So that means I ran. I don't need to run anymore. I already ran. 
It's fine. The old Navy joke was so good. We're going to look past that one. <laughs> and it's Iran. All right. Iran. It is Iran. Yeah, the, one, the one time you get it right yeah, is yeah. the Greg Last me. night, I was like, Iranian. And he was yeah. like, why'd you say Iranian? I was like, oh, yeah, it is. I don't say it right. <laughs> the only time you get it right is to correct me yeah. right now. Because <laughs> yeah. it's funny. Because it's funny. Uh, Saul. <laughs> Saul's from I Waddle. <laughs> I Waddle, dude. I was, I was born in I Waddle. Okay. Right. <laughs> Saul's my favorite plus size comedian. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we use that term, plus size comedian? Because it's just so rude. <laughs> it is That's the why. worst. <laughs> it's so mean. This next comedian yeah. is the hottest plus size comedian. I hate because the most the things that hurt my feelings the most is scientific terms. Yeah, like, it's like I'll go to the Call doctor. Me fat. <laughs> yeah, he'll yeah. go. He'll go. Well, yeah, I don't know if you know this, but you're like morbidly obese. I'll <laughs> slit your throat right now. That <laughs> sounds you scary though. Don't be fat, man. Yeah. You fucking. Yeah. You say you're really, really fat. Yeah, yeah. You say really, really. Has you anyone say really, really? Fat, don't talk about my BMI index, yeah. all right? Because that will hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, uh, has anyone ever brought up like a boring comic as this next comedian? <laughs> no, that's God funny. <laughs> that's funny, though. Is it though? <laughs> this next comedian, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this. No, I know. I was trying to figure out clothing. where we were, we were going talking with about it. clothing, yeah. Um, I I I I I wear a lot of counterfeit clothing now, yeah. and, and I did when I was younger because I was poor. Yeah, you know. Yeah, your perspective on it changed though. Like, yeah, didn't it? Cause yeah, my perspective my perspective as a kid was I wanted people to think I was wearing the real shit. Yeah, and then as I got older. I'm like, oh, the more counterfeit it looks, the better. Mm -hmm. You know, like the really fake Gucci shit. Yeah. I have like a really fake Gucci shirt that I just fucking oh, love. Yeah. And I'm like, that because there's like something funny about it being counterfeit. You really uh, lended to the yeah. Iranian flea market version <laughs> yeah. of yourself that you wanted to. But I went to, I remember when I was in high school, it was like a freshman year of high school. I went to, uh, what's it called? The Santa Fe, swap meet. the Santa Fe Spring swap meet. Swap meet. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and I bought a bunch of fake. T-shirts with fake Tommy Hilfiger, fake Ralph Lauren Polo, mm -hmm. fake everything. And I go to school. Sounds like a lot of dudes' names. <laughs> yeah, I loved having dudes' names on my body mm -hmm. as a kid. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then uh, we go to class, and the teacher's going around the room, like, pointing at stuff and being like, telefono. And then, and then, and then the class would go, telefono. And then, how do you say tag, like name tag oh. in Spanish? It escapes me too. It escapes me. Okay, yeah, Tago. Yeah. So she comes up to my. <laughs> <laughs> it's El Tago. El Tago. Yeah, yeah she go She comes ahead. up to my thing and she goes, El Tago, Haynes. And then, and then the class goes, Haynes? Uh, it says Polo. It's fake. And, oh, I, and I'm just shit. getting ripped yeah. in front of the class and I'm like, you fucking bitch. You knew what you were doing. Man. Yeah. Shout out, shout out, shout out, Senora Plancha. This you know, is what, iron. you know what would suck when you <laughs> when you go to the thrift store and you'd find like you'd find a name brand thing, but it was the ugliest shit ever. I remember I found I wanted Oakley glasses so bad uh -huh. when I was a kid. And I found these Oakleys and they were like the grossest like like beige color. Like but I Elton John glasses or something. They were just no. They were like Oakleys, but they were just the worst color. But I remember buying them and being like. This is good enough, I guess, but it hurt me a little bit. Like you're like, I found them, but I didn't really find them. That's like people who just buy a Nike Nikes because they're Ni like Nike is just the yeah. name brand, but they're like fucking fuchsia. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's like a thing now too. Just the like stuff having like that. Ugly, ugly being a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, like dad core was like a style for a while. The like fuck the, is dad? Core? It's like the Larry David kind of style. Like people started dressing like that like and khakis and, and yeah. Oh yeah, girls are dressing like that too. Like yeah. 90s mom jeans. Yeah, for sure. It, it popped for a little while. Now all the kids like 90s is back. You know, all the kids are dressing. Billie Eilish wears like the baggiest shit in the world. So that became like popular among women or like yeah. young women she's with that last chick where i heard the like she had like a sex tape and i was like oh i gotta go see this and I, fa I fappened it right away wow yeah Hold on billy eilish had a sex yes, tape yes sir oh he that's i think does. he means billy idol oh i also saw that one too <laughs> it's billy, billy idol banging yeah. billy idol, billy <laughs> idol. Very violent. talk right. about a white wedding wow, billy right. eilish's <laughs> sex tape let's talk about this <laughs> so billy eilish has a sex tape huh yeah i'm in a relationship i can't talk about so this. am i but i'm married though so i can't talk yeah about great it. go ahead i'll, I'll yeah, listen yeah. has yeah. has he made any statements about the sex tape who he or billy, billy eilish? eilish billy eilish is 
It's a it's they're, a gal. They're a girl. Oh. Okay, I don't know how how he or she identifies. Okay, well, he's a very sexy lady. Okay? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know why that, that brought the, I just randomly blotted up, but I heard her name. I was like, oh, that's the did last you guys, Did you guys hear OJ take... killed his new wife? Did you guys hear OJ really? killed his new wife? Yeah, self-defense, really? though. Oh, God damn it. He's doing this. He's okay. It was in self-defense. He's doing the thing where he thinks it's going to be clever, where if he just... <laughs> I call it starting a rumor, but yeah. he's, you know, it's it's the just it's in cases. Clips for the future. Yeah. So he's like <laughs> trying to predict the future. Right? So yeah. when OJ kills his next wife, we go back to the episode. We go back and then we boom, clickbait. Clip yeah. ready to go. Yeah. Hottest trending clip. You're right. You're right. They but predicted you, you, it. Hormones, those, oh my we God. Can get hold on. Hold on. Can we stop talking about this for one second and have a little respect for the late, great Elton John? Rest in peace, <laughs> legend. The fact that he brought us so much music and was an advocate for gay people, I just want to say. Yeah. Uh, I heard President Trump's going to speak about it later. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. He, he's doing such a great job oh, right now. Man. He really God. did make America great again. Didn't it's you? hot that, outside. I, would, I, I didn't support him, but, but you know, I didn't vote for him. But yeah, like, in either. hindsight... Yeah. He really did make America great again, didn't he? <laughs> I don't think that clip's going to fucking... Hey, I don't hey, think so knows? either. Okay, hold on. Let's do another one. All right. Um, so Elton John passed away, which is really sad. He was an yeah. you know, amazing musician yeah. and an advocate for gay rights. I heard God said, when are you going to come home? <laughs> I think he did when say that. When are you that. going to land? And he's making... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wonder what Don's going to play now. Yeah. <laughs> People have no idea who Don is. <laughs> Uh, oh. Donnie from New Kids on the Block. Yeah, he's he's dead now. He's dead now. I'm gonna keep this goddamn <laughs> keep episode going. 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 Goddamn, yeah, go we got clips. Uh, no, oh yeah, and, 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 and uh, Camilla Harris, President Camilla Harris, is yeah. doing a great job. Yeah, you know, she's yeah. doing such a good job. Saul so said black women wouldn't be able to be president. Well, she said she's it, taking but... the Underground Railroad and putting it above ground. Finally, yeah, it's just all the railroad things. now. Yeah. I can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> saying all of these things. <laughs> these are all just rumors. Uh, can can I continue? Yes. yes. Sorry. 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 Are you gonna sorry. keep doing a bunch of just in cases? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. If right. I think of another one, I'll. God. All right. This next one uh, is exactly what uh, I was like. All right. Cancel culture. Hormos, you had brought it up mm -hmm. earlier. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, cancel culture. Like, on what aspect do you want to talk about cancel culture? Because there's so many ways. Like, Kanye thought he couldn't get canceled. Mm -hmm. He's your favorite guy. Yeah. And, and, and he did get canceled, right? They canceled his bank accounts. They canceled his shoe. Yeah. He, they, they did cancel him. But but I mean like it's almost like he's too big to fail. Does that does it exist anymore? I I, I think I think that the, the term cancel is bad. I think what it really is is like a hiccup. A hiccup. Well, some people can. Some people have been canceled. Will, canceled. Well, well, yeah. If you're like a heinous, like if you're a bad Cosby's person, canceled. yeah. But could Cosby, if he got out, could he still he's sell out. out an arena? He's out. We'll see. Yeah, he so, hasn't done it yet. He hasn't I don't done know. it yet, but he's talked about doing he's it. He's talked about but doing I, it. But I think he could because I think that the people that support you now with the internet, they will. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I think but the people know. who don't support you are going to be there in full force. Too. For sure, it's going to well, be a wild event. I don't, I don't know if he's going to do it. I've heard mm -hmm. he's talked about doing it, but yeah. he hasn't done it. Well, so I, I bet the support's not really there. Yeah, the other thing that I always think about with with cancel culture is like, or this like freedom of speech thing is it, it, it it's. People are always like, I can't say whatever I want. I can't. I can't say this. I can't. You can, but so can the other people. They forget that there is like two sides no, to a coin. Yeah. Cancel culture is if you say the wrong thing, and you're the spokesman of a corporation yeah. that doesn't agree with the thing you said. Yeah, we'll cancel our contract with you because yeah. there's a clause in there that says yeah. that. That's really what it is. It's you said the wrong thing. Now we want your sponsors to drop you. And and I think that's fine. Yeah. If you're let's say okay, the, a, a a case where I'm on the side of the comic, but I also understand the company, Aflac dropping yeah, Gilbert, Godfrey. Gilbert Godfrey, right? Yeah. He made jokes about the Japanese uh, tsunami that destroyed the nuclear power plant. And yeah. Did, right. He made yeah. jokes about that. And he, he was the spokesman for Aflac, which is a Japanese company. But every punchline, he kept saying Aflac. He didn't have to do that. <laughs> you didn't have to fucking say Aflac after doing the joke. And also, it's like nobody even knew that you were the Aflac guy. Anybody could do that sound, dog. Just, you yeah. know, yeah. maybe. And, but, but he lost millions of dollars. Yeah. Tell jokes. You already made so much money. It's fine. Who cares? You're already a rich old man. I say tell your jokes. If it was me, 
I would be like way more careful. Of yeah. course. Because I don't have all that money yet. Yeah. But I think Cosby going back on tour, like if it happens. If it happens. Let's just pretend he's on tour right now, actually, for the future clip. Um, Cosby on tour? Cosby's on tour! Dude, <laughs> can you believe it? Joel, you bought tickets. What was it like? Honestly, I fell asleep midway through the show, and I, <laughs> I think that's the way he wanted it. Yeah, yeah people think, like, because you have an idea how many people are going to pay, like... Come after? Do you think he's the death of, like death attempts? Like try to get at yeah. Cosby? One hundred percent. For sure. But they won't get to him. It's like you said. People think it's in the drinks, but it's that milky eye. <laughs> yeah. You get within close, and like that fucking shit. You're like, that ah! milky <laughs> eye. Oh, that fucking milky eye has got me hypnotized, and I'm asleep. <laughs> I think that I think that he, because even God, I feel like there are enough people who. Still fuck with him that he could he could do a uh, no one hundred percent he's not no I'm you telling don't think he would well, let's talk about Michael Jackson okay there are so many Michael Jackson defenders you don't think Michael Jackson could still sell out the crypto arena of course Michael Jackson yeah what are we but, so then about? it's like it's like so then I, Michael Jackson, Jackson didn't have cold sixty opens for Michael accusers Jackson. come on <laughs> c- come out on Twitter at the same time yeah. Michael Jackson didn't didn't have it. That's true. That's Michael true. Jackson no, Cosby's a monster. Is, 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 is a yeah. child molester, probably. Yeah. Right. We'll we'll, we'll yeah. say that. he's probably a child molester, unless there's a conspiracy trying to make him look like a child molester. <laughs> right. Like those are the options. Cosby is a rapist. Yes. Yeah. And, and I sure. think there's probably millions of people who want to come see him do stand up. Still, I agree. Yeah. But I think there's like tens of millions. Who would go protest those events and make life hard on those millions? Yeah. To the point where if you're somebody who normally would, you'd probably be like, I'm not going to go. Yeah. And I think that probably is, he probably mentioned it. Yeah, but once you're in the the theater, the reaction was like, once you're inside. The, that's the world that you're living in, right? For but an but hour. you got to get inside. How, you got to get. You want to be the person the outside protesters. that theater versus the person inside. Yeah, but are we talking a protest versus like violence? Yeah, a violent protest. If, if people are like, if there's a violent protest outside of the Cosby yeah. thing that stops it from happening, yeah. because people aren't able to get in, do you want to be the people who are standing against the, the Cosby <laughs> no, protesters? No, fuck no. To get it, no, I will fight. I, I want to be clear. I want to be clear. I would be one of the violent protesters. Why? No, no, no. This is we we already established Cosby's already doing a concert okay, and you okay. went but I fell asleep but you fell asleep and woke up sore <laughs> yeah yeah in areas I didn't even know I had you're like oh I I don't like this anymore now see now I'm scared so I deal with that a lot I'm, I, culture. yeah you're, you're scared of but it's because culture. I don't have a million dollars I am afraid yeah. I, I still need to sort of like it's just smart financially also to like but also morally but uh, but also I I I have so many jokes that I want to say sometimes. Yeah, and the fear in the fact that you could potentially get scared for the words that, especially in satire, yeah. that you just say because, mm. I mean, I, sometimes it feels like I have, I, I, I get it out. Like, yeah. it's just going to get stuck in my brain. Yeah. Like, and no one talks about that. I have to tell and a if terrible you say 9-11 joke. If you say something racist on a podcast, like, you might survive it, but it'll be a chink in your armor. Boo! <laughs> Isolate that one word, armor. We don't. T- <laughs> <laughs> now every time I go to Chinatown, I'm like look at all these armor, <laughs> armored cars. No, but there are people who survived. Uh, what I mean, though, too, to, like I was obviously saying it on purpose, but but <laughs> there are people who've survived their cancelings. Yeah. And they still have career. It's not the same career, though. It's no. like It's like their armor has a, a little <laughs> chink in it. It depends. <laughs> That's what it's called. It's not a, it's not a racist. It thing. depends. His name is Short Round, and he is <laughs> Indiana Jones' sidekick. All right? <laughs> uh, uh I guess it depends what you did too. It's like I would I would hope yeah. that it was like case by case yeah. basis. But and that people know where your heart is. I guess that's yeah. But I don't know. There are people that don't give a fuck. It's like you did that. I've been around those sort of people and I get it. It's it's good for the world, but it's bad for comedy, I think. Yeah. It shouldn't take uh I don't think it's good for the world either though. It shouldn't take six or, 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 or the think... the intention is the, the, the intention good. they think is good for yeah. the world, but yeah. The, the way that it's brought about is not, you know. Well, Cosby's the perfect example of cancel culture sometimes being flawed because he said all the right things. Yeah. He said all the right things. Yeah. He didn't say any mean things. He didn't say anything controversial. Yeah. But then he hid the fact that he was a monster. And there right. are guys who don't say all the right things. Yeah. But then offstage. <laughs> they're great people. They're amazing people. Yeah. 
So it's like, it's kind of fucked. But so when that happens, people will come to their defense, I think, and be like, Should. this guy, like, yeah. I know him. He's not that guy, you know? Uh, but it's harder when, like, you do know these people are, are bad. Yeah. I don't know how many people. I mean, I've heard shit from, like, makeup artists and stuff that were, like, that Cosby did, like, crazy shit. You know, would like, I heard he bit, like, a makeup artist one time and was, like... I'm pretty open about my Delia hate. Like, it's yeah. like, I don't really give a fuck about the guy or a difference. Yeah. There are comics now that I hear that have worked with him mm-hmm. and are like treated a specific way now in the scene yeah. because of the fact that they worked with him. That's, they can't help it. It's tough, man, because they're, you. I also think like they're broke. They're fucking, yeah, they had to yeah. do it. Yeah, you you know? tell somebody who's never had money now that they have money that, yeah. I mean. In my mind too, it's like you, I don't know. I would, uh, I've, I've gone against my morals for a paycheck at times there are things that i've done you know i've fucking done shit i don't want to do dress up like a blue man group member or whatever it is for a saudi prince for like 800 i forget what it was 600 bucks or something yeah once. did yeah. you really uh-huh but wow b- because in my nothing. mind it's like you get that money now whatever hormos does with that that means he yeah. can pay his rent he can continue to yeah, live but it was as like an it was like a cousin discount you know what i mean like <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. can't fucking say family discounts don't matter yeah, everyone else got you know, abby actually hooked it up i, I remember <laughs> really? he was like he was like he met this guy who was trying to set up a show for the saudi prince at like the beverly hills hotel yeah so it's like me and a bunch of other comics i remember fahim was there Alex Phillips was don't there. Don't start Jay saying Man, names, you know? man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be mentioning names. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I These people were not there. They were not no, there. No, nobody was there. Just yeah. me. Fucking yeah. just, hey, it this guy's spitting. Now you're dry snitching like a rapper. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, like I I'm, am dry snitching <laughs> on, this, yeah. on this podcast. I'm going to have a panic attack after this show just because I'm always like, did I, did I word myself right? Did I not say this? Did I not? Uh, which sucks because my heart, I think, is good. Yes. And I don't think that, like, I, I don't know. You're one of well, the sweetest guys, Doug. <laughs> and for you to, like, have anxiety about making a joke is fucking ridiculous, man. Well, my my sweetness is because of fear. No. A lot of times. Is it really? Nah, I'm, an, I'm just... No, you're I'm a sweet guy. Person, yeah. there, are, there are people out there, their sweetness is because of fear, and it doesn't seem as genuine. Yeah. You seem legitimately no, like it's, a it's sweet just, guy. Yeah, it is. It is. I think yeah. that, um, I don't know what I'm saying. Now I'm fucking sweating. Why? <laughs> There's no reason Cause I, we, I don't know I'm like oh, Fuck we talked about Cosby We did this I, I'm just I start to Everything's like Everything's fine dog I guess that's what's That's that's the problem With with all of it For me is like I feel like I can't even Have the discussion Because I Because I feel like I'm walking this minefield And if I don't I don't like that If willing to have A discussion on things Especially when it's just an, It needs to be discussed it, Like Cosby doesn't need To be discussed Yeah But like we don't want another monster out there. No, for so sure. We definitely got to figure out. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but that's the thing. Now, even the discussion is is grounds to, like, come get somebody. You know, Joel, you said this. You didn't fuck. It's like, fuck. You know, I tried my best to. I'm not scared of shit. Yeah, you should be scared of shit. I, I, I'm like, I'm like, if people don't hear the jest in my voice when I say something jokingly, then they're the ones who are. Yeah, you know, there's dumb something as fuck. wrong. Yeah. They're looking yeah. for something yeah. that maybe. I, and it's like. I've always, if I'm well, going to say something, I've always prepared myself mentally for wh- if a backlash happens. Yeah. Like, this is why I said it here. This is the type of uh, environment it was in. It's a podcast about satire. Yeah. Like, and we should be like, and it, it's my but right what is to that, say that. But that, that, there's that quote. It's like the, the like, it's it's basically like the dumbest people have the loudest voice. Though, yeah, of you know? course. So sometimes it's, that's think, what happens. But I think it's almost always like when somebody really gets in trouble mm-hmm. where where their career is completely ruined and they don't come back from it or they're severely damaged and they don't and they're never the same from it it's because like they've said something maybe on a camera that that, that was a joke that was kind of racist or something let's say and then there was a bunch of people who collaborated that like yeah i've heard them like and then other stuff comes like more evidence comes and then piles and then yeah. the person like somebody like Shane Gillis who, who I think said chink, right, in, in a yeah. podcast. Mm-hmm. And then he got kicked immediately off SNL after hours. That's a business. After being in a uh, transaction. But, but like, he was canceled, right? That's canceled. But he's the biggest comic in the world right now. Yeah, and made, a made, really made, nice one guy. One of the biggest too. comics. Funny, yeah. my favorite guy right now, yeah. probably. One, yeah. uh, one of them is Shane Gillis. Yeah. His sketch show is better than SNL. Yeah. Because he got to do it on his own. And, uh, and it's like, he got canceled, but because... Without a context, and it, it was like a media thing. Yeah. 
he he quickly came back and was actually bigger. He actually kind of like rode that cancellation wave into success. So you I'm can a big do that. Bonfire fan, so like he, I was like, he was already in like my yeah. Your guy. I've always like thought it was so fucking funny. This can then they had him on more, and yeah. then when he got SNL, I was like, dude, SNL just came up. Yeah, I said I was like, they came up. This yeah. is like the next. I dare I say John Candy. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like this yeah. is the next, really and then good. like. And then like the cancellation as as a comedian, I was like that they put a little. I was like, God. So damn. I so I I I've gotten to hang out with him a bunch a couple times, and he's very very sweet. And I we saw him right after the SNL thing fell apart, and I felt so bad for. He kept referring to it as the incident, <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like, it was like this nice guy. You could see it in his eyes, like he did not deserve yeah. this fucking thing. And like, I don't really know him, but he's been really nice. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, I don't know him super well either, but uh, yeah. but just from being around him for a couple times, it was like. Of course he's kidding. Like Hold this on. Is, yeah. This is a brown podcast. Hold on real quick. Fuck Shane Gillis, dog. <laughs> he's another he's not one of the good ones, dog. We out here, we're calling you out. He's actually my one good gets. one for he's today. Actually. Yeah, no, no, no. We don't need that. Hold on. We, yeah, but Gillis is Irish, fans. right? Brown fans. Ir- Irish? I'm kidding. Yeah. Irish or white. For sure. <laughs> yeah, but the Irish, they had a they had a tough go. You know. <laughs> of they course did. I'm they kidding. Did. They did. God, but okay. You're cancelled. No, yeah. Canceled for going after a guy who was cancelled. Dude, I heard yeah. I mean, wait till SNL hears about what you said. About Shane Gillis? Yeah. They're probably like, no, that's our guy now. Yeah, they're going to like you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, no, man, uh, that is, okay, that's the good one of the week. Shane Gillis. Yeah. That's everyone's good one of yeah. the week right yeah. now. Yeah, good one of the year. Good one of the year. We're all suckling at his teeth right now. <laughs> I would love to. Mere fucking Shane. Mm, yeah. Uh, uh, also, we're, I think we're earlier, I had written down handshake deals. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we were talking about, uh, this is sort of like a, a cancel culture, but like, uh, an environment where you sign a contract and uh, I've done a couple things where I've gotten fucked over by a guy where I should have signed a contract or almost like after I did kill Tony, mm-hmm. uh, some guy, tra- some manager tried to sign me, some guy who claimed to be a manager. He wanted me to like do a handshake deal. He's like, we're, we're like, we're you- I'm your manager now. So I shook his hand and he's like, uh, that's fine i guess yeah he's like all right but you know i'll send the paperwork over but those are just incidental those are just whatever yeah and then i actually read i had to like read the he tried to take of everything i did 35 percent wow for two years who was this bill cosby no that's but crazy. he went by creative artists and that's already a thing oh wow There's ca but he, he put a k in front of it oh wow <laughs> and had i done anything outside of that like if I had done work outside of he didn't get any any juice of it, then and I could have in, in a sense could have been financially canceled. Could he, he could have sued me for Damn. a weird amount of money. So like he was just doing this to comics that were our, our handshake deals. You can't bring that no, into you can't court. Do that. He right? was just no. a weird guy. Yeah, but like he had signed comics off Kill Tony. Damn. So I'm not quite sure Oof. who had signed with him, but I had, or maybe nobody signed because they read 35 percent. <laughs> yeah, because you have to be pretty like, dumb to sign that. Fuck They're like, that's less than half. Sounds good to me. <laughs> it's like, but he had a roster. Have you guys had any like situations like that where you could have signed something or like a handshake deal? Ah, uh, man. No, I mean nothing that comes off the top. No, I I recently had a contract handed to me that I never signed, but uh, <laughs> uh, so but I'm pretty stoked about that now. <laughs> Glad you didn't sign it. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the two of you guys, whatever that was. But uh, no, I, I signed it Daffy Duck, so yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, well, you are Daffy Duck. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, Four I'm months? trying to think. No, not really. So you guys are just talentless? What I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess all of the like, I've done stand-up shows where there was no handshake, but it, it was all like through text. It was Isn't like, that weird? Like how much the handshake means? Like it's it's kind of super old school. Like looking in the eyes, like this is we're agreeing. But it's like a text means more, I think, to me. Yeah, because like, there's paperwork. Because yeah, there's paper trail. Yeah, it's like I'll pay you this much to do this much minutes. Screenshot, and baby. It's like okay, well, there's the contract. Yeah, right? it's written out. <laughs> Can you do that in the court? So, Probably, yeah. right? Yeah, because yeah, least... if you show up and they don't pay you, and if you have to take it to court, mm. you'd be like, "Look, this is what he texted me that the, the deal was." Yeah. I think, I think in California, a verbal contract is not binding. Yeah. Wow. Is it binding anywhere else? Some places. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. It's binding in some. I think it's state by state. Damn. Damn. And some states you can't record your phone calls, and some states you can record your phone calls too. 
Hmm. Some states it's illegal to record without telling them you're recording. Yeah. And some states some uh, shit's like not admissible yeah. because of that. I don't know. Twenty forty five. <laughs> right there. Hell yeah. If you guys don't explode into a dust and nothing, <laughs> we will give you your own land where you're allowed to have your own police. Will you visit your wife on the reservation? Absolutely. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Con- conjugal visits. <laughs> <laughs> well, Saul puts the jiggle in conjugal, so <laughs> There it is. Yeah, it's it's just like yeah. If they're extinct, the new Jurassic Park will be Caucasian Park. It'll be some <laughs> crazy scientist who figured out how to bring, <laughs> bring white people. He's got an I've got an island off the coast of <laughs> Ireland or something. I had a joke one time where uh, I said white people are gonna be so extinct that like. You know, I'm just gonna give them their own land at some point. I'm like, you guys could put casinos on it if you want. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you want, you don't have to. They're you like, wait a minute. To. Call it the reservation if you like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If Ooh, you white people. Like, I love reservations. <laughs> Manny's Mountain Casino. <laughs> the, <laughs> the old joke, but is it? I was That's like, it's one. true. Got me. And I'm like, no. We have been dogs of Brown Town. Where can they catch you guys? Where got hormones? At not hormones on social media. And uh, I'll be opening up for Cosby next month. Oh, so wow. Come check me out at the. When you say Buxtable opening up, Theater. you mean backstage, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll be passed I'll be out. Spreading. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be zonked out of my mind. I'll be zonked drugs. out of my yeah. mind. I heard Thank that Cosby concert's going to be a super spreader. <laughs> <laughs> a super spreader. <laughs> yeah. Joel, what about? I'm at Mostly Sorry. Uh, I have another podcast <laughs> with my pal Chappelle AC called Lesser Known Characters at Lesser Known uh, Characters Pod. And I play drums in a hardcore band called mad peaceful at mad peaceful band check us out uh saul trujillo uh at saul comedy on instagram at saulcomedy.com. hormos and i we have always uh we have a uh, monthly show called the dirty at 10 30 uh we have another one august 23rd uh we haven't picked out a headliner yet but it's usually lit it's the usually fire so lineup. much fun it's dirty shit it's this uh joel's gonna get on there he's just gonna say the n-word a bunch of times in no the never never what if i pay you 150 dollars nope Okay, we'll I'll talk do, about I'll it. I'll do it. We'll do- <laughs> I'm in. I, I have, wait, I have dates in Arizona. This will be out yeah, before next yeah, month. Yeah, let go. I think I'm in Arizona August 11th. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm in San Diego August 18th. And then I'm back in Arizona September 30th at uh, somewhere. Somewhere. Anywhere, I'll put it on my Instagram. Yeah. And, and I'm going to be doing a show with George Perez August 19th yeah, at the Ice House. Fuck yeah, that's going to be good, And I'm doing shows in dude. Arizona with Saul August 25th and 26th. Tell him about that. <laughs> and I'll be in Mexico City uh, not doing comedy. Damn, you, you should just try. bragging? Just fucking bragging, dude. All That's right. Bad. Well, all my cartel family, please uh, take a, <laughs> our version of a curvy surd. Yes. Uh, curvy surd. Yeah. A gold plated <laughs> machete. A machete. Yeah. Our, uh, yeah. yeah, a Mexican curvy sword, which a is a machete. machete. <laughs> Let's bring our cultures together. Oh, yeah. a curvy machete, the pointy boot of the sword world. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, thank you for watching Dogs at Brown Town. Thank you for listening. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Peace. Please rate, review, subscribe right down here. Follow us on Instagram at Dogs of Brown Town and follow me on Instagram at Not Hormones. Don't forget about me at Saul Comedy, Saul Trujillo. Hey, don't leave me out of the fun. I'm at Mostly Sorry on Instagram. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing right now? You better be subscribing. Check this one. Click, or maybe this video. I, I know you want to click that one. That's the one you want. Just subscribe.